Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to manually add a new Kodi configuration to Cori, the official Kodi remote. So for now let's start with uh, opening Cori. You can find it in the Play Store, which I will put the link below the video. So opening Cori. As you see here, there's no media center added yet. So let's hit next. So in some cases it cannot automatically find the Kodi and as you see here it couldn't find it. So if you click next again you can manually enter the IP address of the computer you want to add. So let's click on next. Okay now we can give it a name. Call it called HTPC. And here. I'm going to fill in the address, so as you see here, address, this is the IP address of this computer. And you need the port, this is 8080. The IP address and port is something you can find in Kodi. So for the IP address, you can go to settings and then system information and then network. And there you see, will see the IP address of the Kodi inst instance. So in my, my case, that's 192.168.1.3. And in service settings, again in uh, settings, you can find the port number on the web server, which is in my case 8080. I'm going also adding a password. So as you see here, username is default to Cody. And the password I also put in Cody. You can change this in the Kodi settings and we're also using TCP and event server. Event server is uh, needed to use the directional keys of the remote. So we can also fill a MAC address but we can skip this. So let's hit test. All done. So as you see here, Media Center is configured, so we can now start using Kodi. Finish. So on the left side, we have movies, TV shows. So if I click movies, I directly get my library from yet Kodi. Or TV shows. If you want to add a new Kodi to the same remote, you click on HTPC. And here you see this one is added now. And if I click plus on the right top side, I can start adding a new one. 